I'm always like on the new stuff. I'm like, I've got to learn this and what is it? It's an opportunity. So I was just like y'all where, did y'all all think like I'll never do TikTok? Mm -hmm. Like, especially not for business. Yeah. My younger nieces who have a TikTok together and they dance and they do gymnastics. I mean, I grew up a dancer, so I love to dance. And so it was a joke. So that's how it got started. And they kept talking about the hype house and sway boys. And I'm like, this is a business. I'm like, I have to learn the model because there is a business to this. Yeah. And so then I was like Googling and reading about the whole, do y'all know the hype house? And sway house? Yeah. I feel like I'm a kid when I'm talking their language, but they basically took 20 creators, like, like, I would say 18 to 22 were like the age range. They moved them into a huge mansion in LA and they have a contract that you have to create so much content every day, about 30 videos a day. So you can do it and they all, they collaborate together Yeah. and, but, but it works. And like, not that they so much like pop up on the for you page now, but like the, the kids that were doing it, like one guy's name is Taylor and then there's, um, I'm trying to think, Noah and then there's Dixie and there's, her sister is Charlie and right. then there's Addison, you know? So I like learned about all these, they were just normal kids, but they loved creating content. And so they, they moved. So the hype house was the first thing. And then they, some kids broke off and they did the sway house. And then now they're all just kind of doing their own thing because they all have management companies and brand deals. And they were like, we were just creating content and having fun together. And they, they were dancers, they are singers. And so it kind of started out that way, but it's a whole lot bigger. And so I don't know if y'all remember, like my little brother was in college when Facebook came out and he's like, but you can't be on it because you're too old. <laughs> like you can't be on Facebook. And then they allowed, you know, if you weren't in college then they yeah. allowed businesses to get on there and then they had a whole 10-year plan of being the largest advertiser in the world so it, it was a brilliant plan to get everybody so engaged and then oh by the way now you have to pay but now the younger crowd and a lot of like probably where our clients are are on instagram yeah. you know then pinterest came out mm -hmm. and so if you think back over the past decade like the average age is well over 55 now on Facebook, but that's not how it started. Mm -hmm. So just think of that, like where if you're like, oh, should I be on TikTok? Should I be? Yes, you yes. should. Yeah. And even if, I don't know if you guys follow Gary V. I was just so scared that, okay, so I'm gonna put all this effort into TikTok, but then mm -hmm. watch it crash, like how, or like, like what Vine was. Yep. That's what I this entrepreneur group that I'm in, we were on a Zoom with him a couple weeks ago, and a lot of the entrepreneurs they were who have large businesses all over the world, and they were like, but what if TikTok goes away? Like it's back and forth and back and forth and I put all this effort in. He was like, so what? Yeah. You gained 5,000 new people that you wouldn't have touched. And if you have other outlets, which it allows, so TikTok allows you to integrate with Instagram and YouTube, which you should, mm -hmm. don't put all your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. So we've had, even we had a client that we met through here. I mean, she was a major following on Instagram. She got hacked. She didn't have their emails. She didn't have their phone numbers. So the big thing is like grow a community on an app, but diversify so that they know like if you're on other handles and then like the ultimate thing is to like get them off the platform, get them on your email list or in your text community so that you own your audience. But we won't go there today. We'll just focus on TikTok. So a few things like to y'all's point is like, it's awkward. How do you do it? So I had a video coach years ago. He's like, you have to realize, cause I'm just like, I'm like, I hate talking to myself. I hate looking at myself. I hate hearing my voice. I have bad allergies. I sound like a man in the morning. Like I, would, I wanted my hair and makeup, like, because I sold perfection mm -hmm. to luxury brats. Like they expected perfection, mm -hmm. but that's not real life. It's not, we don't roll out of bed and wake up with like perfect hair, perfect makeup. makeup. So I, I did the, the perfect thing for years and then the guy that I dated on the production company, we broke up, he moved to LA. But I didn't wanna just drop doing the videos because I built this community teaching people like how to get into a different market in hospitality. I just started doing it with my iPhone and I started doing it at night with my hair on top of my head with no makeup. Sometimes I would do it in my robe, mm -hmm. like rolling washcloths for outdoor weddings and cutting up cucumbers mm -hmm. that I'm just doing anyway. And, but people started to watch and they're like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that. Like that's brilliant for outdoor weddings. And so it started off like that, but people started to pay attention more when I 
showed like, okay, we can be perfect and, you know, have good hair and makeup. But my coach is like, it's actually not about you. It's about how you can help people. And it's about the knowledge you're sharing. He's like, you don't have to have perfect video or lighting or audio. You do you kind of do have to have good audio, but it's really about how you can help other people. If we get out of our own heads of it feels awkward, it is awkward, it's weird. But it's almost like just having a conversation with the phone, just like you would with a girlfriend or a friend. I forget what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know anything about So I have talking points and I do plan and where I get TikTok, we wash, rinse, repeat all of our content. So in other words, if you, and where we get all of our content is people like you, like asking questions. And so we'll take a question and then instead of just emailing somebody back or texting somebody back or making one video and sending it to that person, I'm like, hey, check out my reels or check out TikTok or check out my YouTube. And so I'm constantly driving content through there and that's where we're getting People are like, how do you know what to talk about? There's so much to talk about. And I'm like, well, I ask people. And then they ask me questions. And then I provide a solution or an experience share. And then that's how we come up with it. But we use it on everything. So we'll use it on YouTube. We'll do it on TikTok. We'll do it on Reels. I know it's favorable to video, do the videos inside the app. I often do it outside of the app just because I want to be able to use it on other platforms. And then there's also, if you have an iPhone and you do do it inside the app, you can pull down, record your screen. Do y'all know that that little hack? And then, but you can just record your screen before you post it to TikTok, like if it's in drafts and it records on your screen so it doesn't have the logo. So then, then you can go and reuse that video in Instagram Reels. There's this rule like you're not supposed to use you know, with a logo from another platform to cross over. So there's all these little things, but don't even worry about all the bells and whistles and the details. It's like just getting comfortable doing it. You can duet someone, like just to get comfortable. It's like, if you see something, you're like, ah, oh, I agree with that. That's good advice. Or like, I should do that. You can duet the person or you can stitch someone. So they'll ask a question. Like if someone had a hair and makeup question or someone had a weight loss question, or you can ask a question then people can stitch it and then like share an answer, which is great for engagement. Those are like the primary things that you can do.